Welcome my friends. So we fabricated some salmon and I decided might as well have dinner tonight and cook some for my wife. So what I did, I, I looked at uh, in our fridge and I find we have some butternut squash. The butternut squash and it's seasoned and it's so easy to cook. So I just sear, I'm searing them with some olive oil here, some shallots to give them a flavor while they're cooking together so they can suck the flavor and just gonna season them a little bit at the same time I I cut some mushrooms here and I have some forest mushrooms as well so I'm just gonna mix them together I'm gonna saute those mushrooms And then I'm making something that I remember I learned from school. From I had one of the best um, Chinese food, uh, or Oriental uh, Asian food teacher. She's wonderful. She taught us how to do all the Asian food, and she always used the word GGS, meaning garlic, ginger, and scallion. So I use garlic scallion and ginger so what I'm doing with that I'm actually going to make like a little uh, like a vinaigrette that I'm going to put over the salmon then we're going to season the salmon with our house blend seasoning just when you season always go high because so you want to you don't want to season too low you want to season high so you get seasoning all over the place all right, so this is like a, I left the skin on in here. This is the salmon portion we did. This is the other side as well, a little bit. So the salmon is seasoned. The sides. Okay. So we got our, uh, this is almost ready. I'm gonna put it inside a little bit. I'm gonna focus on our fish. I don't need to clean the pan really because it gets get all the flavor. It's got all the form. I'm just gonna keep it here like that. Very simple dish. See that burn at the fond? I just gotta keep it there. Then the oil is almost hot. I want to see the skinless side down first. So you get that beautiful color. This is really first salmon. I mean, we just bought it today and we actually butchered it today. So we got that going. And then I'm gonna start working on my marinade as well. And, uh, the dressing. Very easy. Check my salmon. It's 
still going on. You see the salmon you want to, you see that white line underneath? It's got to be at least um, almost one third before I flip it. So, let's add a little bit of oil. It's almost a pan frying it. So we got a lot of flavor here going on. So I'm gonna use scallions. I also use the fennel. But the fennel, I just shaved it. I'm gonna use it as a garnish. And then ginger, scallion, and garlic. It's right here with lemon juice. A little vinaigrette. I got some mushrooms already sliced. And we're good to go. Our salmon is good. We have a nice dinner. I think I'm gonna add some cabernet sauce I made the other day, just a little drizzle. I don't wanna keep the plate too, too busy, but at least, just to see. Very easy to cook the salmon. You know, we cut it, but you can buy it already cut. You can have it with skin on, without the skin on. You can mark it without marking it. Very easy. Just put it in one seasoning. Let it sear. You don't even need to cook it in the oven. See, it's, it's getting a nice color right there. See, it's not sticky, that's beautiful. Remember, you don't want to overcook this salmon too much. Then we're going to flip it, we're going to saute mushrooms, and voila. It just when you are outside like this, uh, you just have one little, um, you say that burner, which is not even a burner, which is an electric hot plate. It's good to always invest in something and it's fun to cook outside because the house doesn't smell all the food. And my wife is really picky with the kitchen, not smelling crazy, which makes sense, especially when you're cooking fish. Um, but in the kitchen where I work, I don't have to deal with that, which is different. Okay, so now we can flip the salmon. Look at that beautiful color. Oh la la. That's what you want. You really, you basically want to be able to eat your salmon just with the fork. You don't even need to use a knife with the salmon. Uh, that's the idea of it. So now we're just going to crisp the skin in the bottom. Uh, just have it cook a little bit more. We want to leave a little pink inside. Uh, some people like to cook it all the way. God bless them. But I, I like to keep a little pink inside. That's how you enjoy the salmon. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. You can even eat it raw food. So, and then we'll saute mushroom. We serve our dish. Uh, very simple. Then we can organize here a little bit. Always clean as you go. See, cooking is all like mathematics. I mean, mathematics is like, okay, one plus one equals two, not three. So basically, I had the salmon. I cut it to show you how to cut the salmon. So why do I have to wait another day to do a salmon dish? Might as well do it today. So now we get the salmon, because some of you are like my students. So basically, it's like a test question. You gotta save money. You need to save time and money. You have the salmon already cut. All you gotta do is look at the fridge. What do you have? I got some butternut squash. Butternut squash like this. It's in season, it's perfect. I got some fennel, scallion, I got some onion. So I remember GGS, I used that ginger garlic scallion. It's gonna give me a little dressing a little dressing on top of you don't have to have like always a sauce but we're going to do a little sauce anyway so 
I make some is cooking, so I'm going to taste this dressing just to make sure it's okay. If I find a spoon. That's not bad. that's acceptable, but not bad. I think I'm gonna add some orange juice to it to give it that flavor. Um, it needs some sweetness, a little bit of sweetness too. Okay, my salmon is almost done. When I saute the mushrooms, I'll get, get, get a little bit of orange juice. Then we're going to use this pan to soak the mushrooms. Again, I can't stop saying I'm off of the mushrooms. I mean, it's the season, I like them. It's beautiful, you can cut them any way you like. Just don't overcook them, don't put too much in the pan. If you put too much, they're going to be like this. If you put salt in the beginning, they're going to release a lot of liquid. You want to caramelize the mushrooms. And then you can use this dish is a vegan dish without the salmon. Well, there's a lot of vegetarian that can actually eat the salmon. So you can, this is beautiful dish for them. Um, we can deglaze the pan with some uh, red wine and get the, the flavor out. But uh, we already have red wine sauce reduction the other day. See how it gets very thick, it gets like a glass. Uh, but when it heats up, it gets a little smooth. So uh, let me just put it right here because all it needs is to get a little warm and get a little organized here. I got my body knife today. Let's go, I'm so happy. Body knife is very important. It's so important to use the right knives for the right things to do. Just trying to expedite the cooking. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze some orange juice into that dressing. To give it more some sweetness. All the juice and salmon just go very well, especially now I'm doing like, a, like an Asian kind of flavor. So the ginger, the orange, the scallion, the garlic, they're like uh, happy together. Pulse again. That beautiful color. I'm just gonna let the salmon cook itself right, finish itself right there. Almost done. Saute my mushrooms, and we're gonna we are ready to apply it up. Again, oil you can use because it's an Asian. You can oil, you can use mango oil, you can use sesame oil. Um, sesame oil will add the plum drink flavor. 
because I'm gonna eat this tonight, I don't care too much for sesame oil. I like olive oil, so I'll still use olive oil, but you can use uh, whatever the oil you like. Um, and you can use clarified butter. Okay, let's put in this, maybe a little bit more, because mushroom sucky oil. Okay. So the salmon is done, it's seasoned, it's ready to go. Uh, Dressing is done. And you're almost ready to go. Start creating a plate while waiting for the uh, Pour this somewhere so it's easy to handle. This is what we just did with ginger, scallion, garlic, lemon juice, and orange juice. Some olive oil. So we're gonna use this dressing. You can strain it if you want. Take my uh, butternut squash, put it right there. I had some fennel that I braised before, I just need to taste it, make sure. Good. Put it right there. You see there is really no water coming out. It's coming beautiful. Now I will put my mushrooms and I'm gonna make my shrimp my salmon in a side like so so it's easy to see. We're getting there. We're starting to cre create a little fancy dishes. And that's the goal. We don't want to throw, start with all the fancy stuff. Then what's next? You start with the fancy, what, then what? So slowly we upgrade our 
That's what you do in school. You don't go to school and get a diploma first. You gotta first study and learn, then you get a diploma. So we have this beautiful chiffonal. We're gonna put it right here as a garnish. That's a shallow chiffonal. Tell you, there's a lot of flavor in this dish. I think now we can season the mushrooms. A little salt. Again, every time you season, you gotta season the high, so everything gets seasoned. We'll add a little bit of punch of our house seasoning and our bam bam. Of course, you can add herbs and stuff like that. A little pepper. So we got some fennel here we can put in, this beautiful garnish. Just to thin up this sauce, you get too thick. This is just a little signature. We we'll try the ham first before. We'll just zoom up a little bit. That's it. Voila, we are done. Almost to your heat off. So this is a beautiful dish. Always clean your dishes before you serve them. And you tell me, I mean, this is just like going to the five-star restaurant. Look at that beautiful salmon. And I'm gonna take my place and then show you what you're looking for. You don't want your salmon to be overcooked, so but just by putting like this, you can see that shininess that means it's not overcooked.
That's perfect. I think my wife is going to be very happy.